Amen. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. All those of you that are joining us, welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. And uh, bienvenidos a todos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. So praise God, prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you. Amen. Amen. And he has a good report for you. Amen. And we're going to be studying about whose report will you believe. So all those of you that are listening by audio or uh, viewing by uh, video, Amen. we just want you to know, prepare yourselves to receive because God had great things for you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. So praise God. Amen. We have to make that choice. He's got something for me. I'm not letting him go. So I want it now. Los que nos están escuchando por audio, los que nos están viendo por video, prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Nos quiere bendecir, animar, cambiar y corregirnos. Amen. So praise God. He's got something for you. Don't leave like you came. We want to leave change. Amen. So grab your Bibles, child of God. Amen. And say it like you mean it, church. Come on now. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I will talk the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. And guess what? A lot of people say, well, you know, God never talks to me. And we just confess this is the word. This is the Bible. This is my Bible. Amen. <laughs> this is the word of God. Yes. Amen. You got to open it up. And read it Amen. and allow those scriptures to get in you. Yes. Amen. Get in you. When it gets in you, it's going to come out of you. Yes. The Bible yes. says, out of your innermost being yeah. shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Yes. Amen. So praise God. You're going to have a good report. Amen. Amen. We are to confess a good report. Yes. Don't go around with bad reports. Who is reporting you going to believe? The report of the world? The bad report? The negative report? Or are you going to confess the report of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. So, hallelujah. We're going to confess what the word of God says. Amen. So, prepare yourselves. I'm ready. I ain't already preached it to myself a few times. <laughs> and uh, Patricia, I already preached half of my sermon already. <laughs> Whose report will you believe? Listen, whatever you may be facing. No matter what they say. Who said what? What the doctor said or what the doctor, uh, the bill say or what anybody says. Whose report are you going to believe? Amen. Are you going to stand on the word? He says, when you've done all the stand, stand. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do. I say, Lord, I'm standing on you. I'm standing on your word. Amen. I'm going to believe your report. Amen. Yes. Whose report would you believe? We're going to believe the report of the Lord. And listen, you may be facing, of course, we're all facing different things. What I'm facing may be different from yours. Yeah. But still, we serve the same God. Amen. His word is good for you. His word is good for me. Amen. We're living in a world full of contrasting reports, bad reports, negative reports. Amen. Right. No matter where you go, we go in a negative world. That's right. Amen. Yeah. You're the good news going somewhere to happen. That's right. Amen. So yeah. you're Amen. a good thing. And then you need to hear your good reports. Amen. They need to hear the good things. Satan and this world are full of negative reports. Amen. And that's all they have. But us, God, believers, we already have the good report. Amen. They may not want to hear it, but they... They need to hear a good report, amen? Yeah. They want to hear the word. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the, report Lord. Of the Lord. Lots and lots of report coming in all sources. But whose yeah. report will you believe? Yeah. Sadly, listen, sadly to say, some Christians let their bad reports rob them of their best. Uh, yeah. Many block their own blessings with the negative reports they have and not even know it. So listen, words are carriers, and you carry good or bad. Yeah. So you have to be careful what you're saying. Don't just go, you're not a parent, you know, just don't go confessing what someone else said. Uh -huh. Amen? That's you right. be careful. You take it in, but say, hey, I'm not going to confess that. That's not good for me. That's not me. And I'm not going to repeat it to somebody else. Somebody else is going to hear it, and they're going to pass it on. And your children <laughs> around home, guess what? They're going to confess what, what you're saying. And you go somewhere and the children are saying all these things. And, well, I don't know where they hurt that. <laughs> well, guess what? They heard it from you. <laughs> heard it from you. <laughs> so, don't knock your blessings down. Amen? As a matter of fact, uh, you, I gave you a little handout because, you know, um, let, me, let, me, let me read this. 
Some of us say these things. Well, you know, I can't do it. Some say, I'm not qualified. I'm not, I'm not forgiven. I'm not good enough. It's impossible. Uh, no, no, nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. Amen. If you read this, put it up somewhere where you can see it all the time. Amen. Never feel unqualified to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Never feel unqualified to serve the Lord. The world's going to come against you. People's going to come against you. Family is going to come against oh, you. Lord. Well, you're not good enough. We know you. We know your past. You're not good enough. You're never going to be good enough for them. That's right. But for God, you are. Yeah. He put you on a mission to fulfill. Yeah. And he put you on a mission to win. Amen? So let's finish. What does it say? Never feel unqualified to serve the Lord. It says God never looks. God looks at your heart. He never looks at your past. Amen? Amen? So let the past stay behind. Yes. Amen? Because that's what people are the enemy. And people are going to use these things oh, against yeah. you. Amen? You're not good enough. And they're not going to hear you. You know, Patricia's, well, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. But you know what? Jesus says, you know what? They've done these things to me, so they're going to do it to you. That's it. So remember that. If they walked away from him, they're going to walk away from you. Oh, yeah. Amen? Hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is some of their reports. They say, I, I can't do that. I can't be healed. I'm always sick. I catch everything. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? There's a little crowd over there, and I'm going to walk over there, and they're just comparing notes, and they're, they're talking about, well, I've got this, and I've got that, and I've got this, and I'm going to join in, and I'm going to tell them what I've got. <laughs> I said, I've got all of the things you've got. Uh -uh. No. Be careful. Whose report are you going to believe? Uh -huh. what's, the, what's the report of the word? What's the word says? Yeah. I'll never be healed. Well, you can have what you say. You go confess the word. The words are carriers. They carry yeah. positive or negative. That's right. Jesus, God says, he sent this word out to accomplish. Yes. He says, if my word goes and accomplish what I send it out to do. Yes, that's words right. are powerful. They carry them. They're carrying us. They're seeds. And if yeah. you sow these things in your life, guess what? Yeah. It's going to reap. You're going to reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. So don't go around just confessing things. You're not a parent. You're a child of God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many, many give up faith, hope, and quit before receiving what God promised. Uh -huh. And what he promised, a good report. Mm -hmm. Amen. Magnify him, yes. your healing, your blessings. Yes. But not, never magnify the problem. Okay. Amen. And that we, we've got that reversed because we're always going around magnifying the world, magnifying the problem, uh -huh. and magnifying all these things coming against us instead of magnifying our God. Yeah. We, right. we, we, it's just like we, yeah. we see God so little uh -huh. and these problems so big. He's bigger than any mountain. Yes, he is. <laughs> Amen. He's bigger than any problem that, yes. that you'll ever have. Amen. Say this with me. Lord, deliver me Lord, deliver from me. Negative, negative self talk. Negative and, self -talk. Help and help me to speak, speak. faithful words. Faith words. Help, me help me to build up and not tear down. Help me use faithful words, words to frame my life. To frame my Amen. Life. That's what we need to do. Frame your words to frame your life. You use the word of God to frame what you need to do, what yes. wh wh where to go. I'm going to use faith your words to frame my world, mm -hmm. to frame the life God has given me. Yes. Because when you speak faith your words, <laughs> enemy's got to go. Yes, he does. I mean, enemy's got to go. Fear has got to go. All yes. these other things have to go. That's right. Because I'm confessing what the word of God says. When you fill yourself with the word, you're uh -huh. filling yourself with faith. And all these fears and all these other things have to flee. Yes, Amen. He says, submit yourself to God. Yes. Resist the enemy and he will flee. Flee, flee is just don't walk away. Yes. Or maybe you walk away. Uh -huh. He says, flee is, I mean, like, you're out of here. Run with fear. <laughs> Praise God. Whose report would you believe? Uh, Patricia already read uh, <clears throat> what I had, but you know, you can, you can mark this down in Isaiah uh, chapter 53. Uh, verses 1 through 7. I marked it down somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, I don't want to read you the whole thing. But verse 1 says, Who has delivered our reports, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Yes. Amen. And he goes all the way down to verse uh, 5. Said, well, first, verse 4 says, But if, this is from the Amplified, but in fact, he has bore our griefs. 
and he has carried our sorrows and pains, yet we ignorantly assumed that he was stricken, struck down by God, and degraded and humiliated by him. And verse 5 says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our wickedness, our sins, our injustice, and our wrongdoings. The punishment required for our well-being fell upon him. He says, by his stripes, we are healed. Don't go confessing sickness over yourself That's if right. Jesus had already paid. Uh -huh. By his stripes I am healed. You know what? <laughs> Regardless of what you feel in your body, mm -hmm. you got to stand in faith and say, body, line up with the word of God. Yes. The word of God says, by his stripes I am healed. Yes. And I'm going to confess his word till the body lines up with the word of God. Amen. Amen. No matter what, I'm going to stand on what the word of God says. Amen. So, praise God. That was good. We was on the same page there, Pastor yeah. <laughs> Good reports and bad reports. We're going to give you a few good and a few bad reports. Amen. In Numbers 13, 1 through 33, and I'm, I'm not going to read you the whole thing. But Moses sent out 12 spies. As a matter of fact, uh, Moses sent out men to explore the land of Canaan. And the land was given to the Israelites. It says, send one leader from each tribe. Mm -hmm. Amen. Moses did. He sent 12 and he commanded them to, to go out. Mm -hmm. And 12 men went out. Yeah. They went to scout the land. God had already given it to them, but they had to go and check it out anyway. <laughs> I said, well, I don't know if we believe you. But Moses sent out 12 spies, uh -huh. one from each tribe, to scout yes. the land, the promised land. Right. And for 40 days, they went out. And they saw, this is, what, this is the report they gave. Mm -hmm. They showed them fruits that were taken from the land. That was their report to Moses. We entered the land and that you sent us to explore. And it indeed is bountiful country. A land flowing with milk and honey. Milk and honey. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Here's the kind of uh, fruits it produced. And he showed them some humongous fruits, okay? Uh -huh. But the people living there, says, are powerful. And their towns are large and fortified. And we even saw giants there. Amen. Uh -huh. We saw giants there. And that's what we do, is we go out into this world, and we see giants, and we oh, see this wow. big world, and we see the pro biggest problems yeah. that we face every day on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. We see giant, giant problems, whatever you, problem you're facing. We may be facing different things, but we magnify the giant. We magnify oh, the problems bigger than our God. Uh -huh. You know, if you spend time with God and have a relationship with God, you wouldn't magnify anything over him. Because you know that greater is he that's in you than he yes. is in the world. Oh, so is. praise God in you. So whatever God. you may be facing. Yes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this short. But anyway, he said we saw giants. He says, We even saw giants, the descendants of Anna. Uh -huh. He says, next to them, he says, we're like grasshoppers. Oh. Wow. So we can't do anything. We can't, you know, there's so many giants out there, so many problems we're facing. I can't do anything about it. But God has already given us the answer. Yeah. So whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to believe the report of the world? You're going to believe what God has told us? That's right. So guess what? He sent 12 out. 10 came with bad reports and showed their little faith in the doom and gloom oh. <laughs> report they gave to Moses. Amen. Uh -huh. They were slandering and they <clears throat> slandering what God has said. Uh -huh. they, 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 they weren't believing what God has said. Right. They did not believe that God could help them. And that the people as a whole were persuaded that it was not possible to take the land. Oh my. Remember, God had already given them the land. Yes. Now they're saying, we're, they, they got giants here, and we're not good enough, and we're not powerful enough to take the land. Why are you trying to take the land that God has already given you? Hmm. Who's reporting you don't believe? Yes. But two good reports, Joshua and Caleb. <laughs> Brought back good report and believed that God Praise would God. help them succeed. Yes. They were the only two from that generation, from their generation, permitted to go into the promised land. Amen. The rest of them were not That's permitted. Right. That's right. Even Moses, when Moses struck a, uh, the stone, for, and you know, he, what God says, you disobeyed what I told to you. He says, speak yeah. to the rock and you hit it. And I told you not to do that. And Moses was not allowed to go into the promised land. And they chose a new leader, which was yes. Joshua. Yes. Amen? Yes. <laughs> so, all of them never went in there. They went in and spent an uh, 11 day journey, 40 years in, in, in the desert. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, be 
careful. If you hear a bad report going around, don't join the crowd. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a good report. You know what? You yeah, just you, you just throw cold water on their fire, you know? You start the good fire. Right. You start the good report, amen? Yeah. <laughs> so praise God. The majority is not always right. Yes, Believing right. the right report mm -hmm. is not always popular. Uh -huh. Amen? Because Caleb had to stand in the midst of the majority and say that he and Joshua, the major minority, could handle the giants. You know what? That's what David said when he saw his giant. He says, my God is bigger than you. Mm -hmm. He says, I will take your head off today. Mm -hmm. He said, you ain't going to talk about my God like this. That's right. I mean, that's the kind of attitude we need to have on that's a daily right. basis yeah. when we walk into this world. Uh -huh. He said, wait a minute. You don't know my God. Uh -huh. Let me tell you about my God. Uh -huh. And David went out and proved what he said he was going to do. And then and we can go out and do it. Say, you know what? Whose report am I going to believe? That's I'm going right. to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. The Lord. And he went out and did that. We all get focused on the big reports and forget about the small reports that have been answered. We focus on the big blessings and forget about the small ones. That's right. We focus on, we should be focused on the blessor and not just the blessings. You know, we, 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 get so, we, we get so taken, you know, by all these blessings happening, you know. Oh, this is great, this is great. And next thing we know is we're just following the blessings and forget about the blessing. Uh -huh. Amen. It happens. it happens all the time. I'm going to read you this scripture and I'm going to read it to you in the uh, King James and the uh, easy to read version. It says, this justice for all. You shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Mm -hmm. Now listen, this is what the easy to read version says. Don't tell lies against other people. If you're a witness in court, don't agree to help a bad person tell lies. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Justice for all. Amen. <laughs> Here's another good report. Well, good and bad report, but in Luke 5, 1 through 8, it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word, you know, they're following Jesus, you know, and people are just following him. So yeah. Jesus uh, told the fishermen to, he got on in Simon's uh, boat and he told him to go out a little ways and he started preaching and teaching the, to the people. Amen? Yeah. And then after he was done, he says, let me see. He told them to go out into the deep uh -huh. and cast your nets to fish, to go catch some fish. And, well, uh, verse 4 says, And when he had uh, left, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down the nets. And Simon answering him, uh, says, Master, we have toiled all night, mm -hmm. and we have taken nothing. Nevertheless, yes. <laughs> I will do it. I will obey what you said. I will believe your report, and I will go and do what you told me to do. Uh -huh. He could have messed up and just says, well, you know, we've already been out all night and I'm not going out anymore. We're fishermen. We know what we're doing. Who are you? Why are you telling me to do this? Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Jesus says, go out and launch, cast your nets, plural. Simon says, I will cast down the net. So still, you know, there's a little doubt there. And when they had done this, mm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. they enclosed a great multitude of fish. And their nets started to break. Oh, yeah. They beckoned upon their partners. Uh -huh. They called their partners to come and help. Uh -huh. Amen. And they came. And they filled this, both the ships. Mm -hmm. And they began to sink. When Simon saw this, he fell down at Jesus, kneeling, saying, Depart from me. I am a sinful man, O Lord. Amen. He still had a little doubt. But when he saw how Jesus blessed him, yeah. he came and knelt before him and says, Depart from me. I don't deserve this. Listen to this. 
Here's what Jesus used some followers. James and John, the son of Zebedee, were amazed too. Uh, James and John were working together with Simon. Yeah. Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, your work will be to bring in people, not fish. <laughs> the men who brought their boats to the shore, when they came yeah. to shore, they left everything behind uh -huh. and followed Jesus. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. We've been fishing all this time. We're professional yeah. fishermen. But when they saw and saw the report of the Lord, mm -hmm. they decided to follow oh, Jesus. Jesus. And they left yeah. everything behind. Yes, they did. Amen. So what about us? The time that we came to him. <laughs> we got to leave those things behind. Leave the past behind. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your past. Leave it there. You don't need it. Whose report should you believe? Simon Peter believed the report of the Lord. Yes. He obeyed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Even though he only put one net down, he still <laughs> caught more fish yes. than they did yes. all night long fishing and caught nothing. Amen. That's why it's so important. The Lord's going to tell you. <laughs> He's going to give you a report. Uh -huh. Believe his report. Amen. Yes. Whose report should you believe? Uh -huh. Listen, the doctor, your body may be telling you this report. Mm -hmm. You're sick. Terminal sickness, no cure, mm. but God's yes. report is yes. not. His report is final. Amen. Yes. The bills may be tell you, your bills may be in the red. <laughs> your job may say, well, you know what? You're fired. Mm. Children report says, the school report says, but whose report are you going to believe? Amen. Whatever your situation you're facing. Yes. And whose report are you going to believe? Are yeah. you going to believe what they're telling you? Mm -hmm. Guess what? God's my source. Amen. He supplies all my needs. Yes. Amen. So Amen. by his stripes I'm healed. Yes. So no matter what's coming against you, no matter what they're saying, no matter what your body's telling you, by Jesus Christ I'm healed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And he supplies all of my needs. Oh. And we're going to read a few more of these in a few minutes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus heals a man with leprosy. Mm -hmm. It came to pass. In Luke 5, uh, 12 to 14, says, It came to pass in, this, in a certain city, Behold, a man full of leprosy, mm -hmm. who sees Jesus fall to his face, and beside him, saying, Lord, if thou be thy will, thou can make me whole. Mm -hmm. That was his bad report. He's sick. He's full of leprosy. And you know, they're not allowed to come into the city. They, they yes. got to stay out of the city. That's right. Amen. And Jesus says, he says, he says, he fell on his face, you can make me, you can heal me if you want to. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, I will heal you. And he, 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 he put his hand out and touched them. And you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. When Jesus touched him, immediately he is healed. Amen. Amen. Immediately he is healed. That's the good report. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. He charged him to go and tell no man. He says, go show yourself to the priest. And offer, an, uh, uh, offer a, uh, a, a sacrifice of, of a cleansing, mm -hmm. as Moses has, uh, had, has uh, told him to do. So he believed his report. Immediately he was healed. Yeah. So whatever situation you're going through, know that God has already done it. God yeah. is sending you through. Amen. Yeah. Whatever situation you're going through, no matter what. That's right. <clears throat> Jesus heals a paralyzed man. Luke 5, 17 through 24. We're spending some time here in Luke. <laughs> Say so one day Jesus is, uh, is teaching. Some Pharisees and teachers of religious laws were sitting nearby and seeing that these men showed up mm -hmm. from every village in Galilee and Judea, mm -hmm. as well as Jerusalem. And the Lord's healing powers were strongly with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Some men carried a paralyzed man <clears throat> on a sleeping mat. Mm -hmm. They tried to get in, but they couldn't get in. It was so crowded. So guess what? <laughs> they went to the roof and removed some tiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they lowered the man, mm -hmm. the sick man, on a mat right in front of Jesus. Yes. And Jesus, seeing their faith, uh -huh. Jesus said to the man, young man, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the religious okay. leaders say, yes. who is he? This blasphemy. Only God can heal sins. <laughs> Jesus knew what they were thinking. So he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Mm -hmm. It is easier to say your sins be forgiven or stand up and walk. So as they uh, prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth yes. to forgive sin, Amen. then Jesus turned to a paralyzed yes. man and said, stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. Yeah. 
That's a good report. Amen. Amen. And yeah. guess what? He believed because he says immediately uh -huh. everyone watched the man jump up, pick up his mat, and go home Ooh. praising God. Amen. Amen. No matter what they told you, no matter what they said, yeah. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> and when you rejoice <laughs> and they see what happened, uh -huh. they're going to wonder, says, <laughs> you know, what God does he serve? Mm -hmm. What God does she serve? Mm -hmm. And you know what? They're going to come and ask you. Yeah, God yeah. saw you through this. I want the same God you have. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I want God. your God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone gripped. And great wonders and all, and they praise God, exclaiming, we have seen amazing things today. Yes. And Sister Frances said a few minutes ago, uh -huh. you're going to see more powerful yes. things. Miracles come. Yes. And praise God. Hey, now who's reporting you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report the of the Lord. Lord. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Are we really touching on healing today? Yes. 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 Praise God. Praise God. By his stripes, I'm healed. I don't care yes. what's facing your body. I don't That's care what's right. coming against yes. you. By his stripes, you're healed. It's not what I said, it's what he says. Uh -huh. Amen. It's what he says. Jesus uh, gives life to a dead girl and then he yes. heals a sick woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome. Same, 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 uh, verse, same chapter here. Praise Matthew God. 9, 18 through 26. While Jesus was still walking, uh, uh, talking to a leader at the synagogue came to him. A leader of the synagogue came to him and said, the leader bowed, paid respects, before him and says, my daughter has just died. But if you will come and touch her uh -huh. with your hand, mm -hmm. she will live again. Mm -hmm. So Jesus and his followers went with the man. Mm -hmm. He had faith. Yes. He knew, he said, I believe in you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I believe in a good report. I believe your report. He says, if you come touch her, I know she'll be healed. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came. What if he would have said, well, she's died and, uh, you know, Maybe she'll live, maybe she won't, you know. There's no doubt there. He says, I know if you come and touch her, she'll live. Yes. And guess what? Jesus is on the way. <laughs> As he's on the way, Jesus heals this sick woman oh. with the issue of blood. <laughs> on the way, there was yes. a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She oh. came close behind Jesus. Of course, she says, this is an easy to read version. <laughs> she says, if I could just touch the bottom of his coat. Yes. She was thinking, I'll be healed. Yeah. Jesus turned to the woman and says, be happy, be healed, dear lady. He says, you are made well because you believe. Mm -hmm. The woman was healed. Yeah. She believed the report. Amen. Amen. The other translation talks about, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, uh -huh. I would be healed. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus says, Somebody touched me. Mm. And the disciples say, what do you mean somebody touched you? You're in a crowd. People bumping you and pushing on you all, all the way through. Mm -hmm. He says, somebody touched me. He says, power just came out of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he knew yeah. power just came yeah. against me. Yeah. You know, when you reach out in faith, he'll touch you. Yeah. And then power went out of him. He felt the anointing come yes. out. He said, oh, my God, praise God. Somebody touched me. It amazed the disciples mm -hmm. that were with him. He said, yeah. what do you mean somebody touched you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all these people are bumping into you. Yeah. All these people are touching you. Uh -huh. But not the way she was touching. Not the way she touched. She reached out in faith yes, to be healed. Yes. And, then, and Jesus says, yeah. healing power just went yeah. out of him. Amen. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she believed the report of Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. So praise yeah. God. Yeah. So, yeah. so now yeah. Jesus continues to this leader's house. Uh -huh. Jesus continued with the Jewish leader and he went into the house, the uh -huh. leader's house. Yeah. He saw people there yeah. <laughs> making music for funerals. <laughs> there was a crowd of people crying loud. Oh, you know, these people that you invite to your funerals, you know, yeah. they just come make loud noises and uh -huh. cry. <laughs> Jesus oh. says, go away. The girl is not dead. She only sleeps. Mm. And the people laughed at him. You know, you're going to say some things uh -huh. and people are going to laugh at you. Oh, yeah. But you got to stand on here. Or you got to yes. stand on the word of God. Stand and you got to stand whose report are you going to believe? Yes. Huh? You're going to believe the report of the Lord. Yes. Praise God. He told him to go away. He says, she's only sleep. 
<laughs> they laughed at him. Uh -huh. So how many times they laughed at me? I said, look, no, I ain't going there. <laughs> Jesus went to the girl's room and he held the girl's hand uh -huh. and the girl stood up. He touched me. You heal, brother. Amen. Amen. Yeah. The news spread throughout the area. Yes, it did. Who's reporting? You don't believe uh -huh. it. This leader knew mm -hmm. who to go to. He went to Jesus and he had faith. Jesus, if, yeah. he, if he could only touch him, uh -huh. I know that she would be healed. Uh -huh. Amen. And guess what? <laughs> Jesus is going to use you. <laughs> Let's go. You go touch this person. Yeah. I can't be everywhere. Yeah. And God's going to use his body. We are yes. the body. We are the church. Yes. We're the body of Christ. Yeah. Going somewhere to happen. Right. Good news is going to happen. And guess what? He's going to use little old me. He's going to use little old you. Yeah. But guess what? He ain't got no one else except the body to use. That's it. So if he says lay hands on this person mm -hmm. or whatever he tells you to do, mm -hmm. just do it. Believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Who's reporting you going to believe? We're going to re believe the report of the Lord. We're going to believe what the word of God says. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus went. He saw the man's face. And he went. Yes. And he told those people that was putting on the show to get out. <laughs> no faith? Get out. Oh, God. Yes. <sighs> he went into the girl's room, grabbed her hand, and the girl stood up. He did the same thing with Lazarus. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lazarus was already embalmed and everything, whatever they did. He wrapped him in, wrapped him all, in, in all these wraps or whatever, you know. And he told Lazarus to come up. He said, he, he can't get up. He's dead. And he's all wrapped up. How can he come up? Well, when Jesus gave his word, uh -huh. Lazarus come forth. Uh -huh. It obeyed. Yes. And, and Lazarus came forth. I don't know how he came, but he came. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 15, 30 says, a smile makes people happy. Yes. A good report makes them feel better. Amen. Amen. Bring Praise your good God. smile and bring your good report yes. out there. Amen. You know, there's enough crowns going on out, oh, yeah. out there. Oh, there's enough sadness oh, out there God. all the time, you know. So when you bring your smile and yeah. you bring your good report, yeah. it's going to touch people. Yes. You know, you may not see it, but that seed yeah. is going to be planted and that seed is going to grow amen. amen so just remember that sometimes we um well go ahead now it's going to happen yeah whatever report you've been given whatever report's been given you stand on the word believe the report yeah. of the lord listen i'm going to just give you a few examples here bad report says it's impossible Good report says all things are possible. Yeah. 18, yes. 27. Yeah. You're too tired. Mm. The good report says, I will give you rest. Uh -huh. Nobody loves you. God says, God really loves you. Uh -huh. You can't go on. God said, God's grace is sufficient. Yes. Amen. You can't figure things out. God says, I will direct your steps. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can't do it. God says, you can do all things. All Amen. Yeah. <laughs> You're not able. With God, you are able. Yes. <laughs> it's not worth it. It will be worth it all. Oh, yes. You can't you forgive yourself. God says, we'll forgive you. Mm -hmm. You can't manage. God says, I will supply all your needs. Oh, praise <laughs> God. Thank you. You, should, uh, you shouldn't fear. God says, I have not given you a spirit of fear. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if you worry and frustrated, God says, I will cast all your cares on me. Mm. If you're not if you're not smart enough, God says, I will give you wisdom. Mm. You're all alone, God says, I will never leave you. Yes. And I will never forsake you. Amen. And you know he's Praise always God. with you. Guess what? Even if you're by yourself, he says, I'm always with you. Yes. Greater is the one in you. <laughs> Wherever you go, I go. Amen. Yes. And Philippians 4 8 says this, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, yes. whatsoever things are of good report, yes. if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God. And in closing, Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> listen, the night Jesus was crucified, 
Hell was rejoicing. <laughs> and they were spreading a bad report about uh -huh. Jesus' death. <laughs> Three days later, Jesus himself turned the bad report into a good report. Yeah. <laughs> he rose again. Yeah. Hell was rejoicing and partying and, and the saints are mourning. But yeah. Jesus says, the report is wrong because I am alive and I am well. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Whose report shall you believe? Yeah, you believe shall believe the report of the Lord. Report of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it isn't over until Jesus says it's yeah. over. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same report yeah. says, <laughs> Jesus is dead in your life. There's no hope for you. Oh. You have gone too far in sin. Oh. It's time for you. It's time for you. Well, let me read yeah. He wants you to believe the bad report at all times. It's time for you to do a U-turn like the prodigal son. Yes. Come back home to Jesus. Yes. He is not finished with you. That's right. you. <laughs> oh, praise God. It's not over until one day when he calls you and you hear him say this good report. Yes. He says, welcome home, good and faithful servant. Yes. Amen. Amen. So no matter what you've been in, it's time to make a U-turn. All yes. those who are watching, those who are listening, yes. whatever report. Amen. You're going through whatever bad report. Believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And whatever you're going through, it's time to do an about face. It's time to do a U-turn and come back to Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. He put you here. He called you. He approved you. He yes. equipped you. And He's put you on this mission to succeed and to complete. And uh, no matter what the world says, no matter who says what. You ain't finished till he says so. Amen. Right. And yeah. his good report to you is one day he'll say to you, Welcome home, good and faithful servant. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.